Estamigo once again on my channel, Nikupayuka Yote, Akuna Kuficha. Ninety percent of men in Kenya they have baby mamas, which is very understandable and it is normal. But kuna tofauti ya baby mamas. Kuna yule baby mamas wali kwa na yeyata before akuwe. Listen, I need to create this awareness because this shit is happening. Wana mwasikuizi ni kama wakona shida ya hormones benye minesema kwa my previous video. Tunadiru na watu wenye wanaitu wakababa wamezoya kuhitu wakababa hata wakio na miaka 40. Mwanaume kama wakona mbebe mama na wamepatana na yeye mukiwa na yeye. As in, you are already married and your husband amechiti inye na amepata mtoto. Mwanamuka chanuka. Mutu kama wakona shinda ya homo nza nsikuletu. Huyo ni mutu andisavu ya support. Financial support. Andisavu hata 10%. Huyo ramunda 1%. Na hiyo 1% ni enye unamusaputu kwa watoto si yeye. Listen, this is the bitter truth. Hata waseme na wapoteza. Hizi ni vitu zina happen. <coughs> Isifika please, unakuwa ni kama wewe ni wewe unatumiwa. Hizi ni watu wenye wako sai. Wanaume wenye wako sai. Wakona shida ya hormones na wanataka kuwekwa. That is the bitter truth. Kama mtu wa mepatana na bebe mama na mwikuwa na yeye. Uyo andisavu ya support. At least mwenye alikuwa na bebe mama before mpatane. Lakini mwenye amezalisha na inje mkiwa na yeye, my dear friend, sako tiishi. Kitu ya kwanza, utasutukia unampea pesa, haende ya kajengea yule mungine. Hizo ni kitu zina happen na ni ukweli. Mbatu watu wataki kuongea, nilisema mina zima nitasema zote. Ikifika place, mtu siyaliona haufai, na amenda hamepata watoto inji. Yuwa sako to keep off. Kwa sababu utakufa na depression and that is the bitter truth. Nowadays, watu wako depressed. Na stress is again ni watu wanajiwekea. Listen, unawama you are instincts, I could anga nyangi. If you feel like quitting, just quit. If you feel like staying, stay. Life is yours. Unajua watu wengine wame make decisions zingine na ni kukonsult watu wanakupea advice zao. Kila mtu wako na destiny yake. Ikifika please, unasikia roo yako inakwambia quit. My dear friend, quit. Ukisikia inakwambia stay, stay. Kwa sababu, uwezi kuwa ni we mbrandi wina as a woman. Arafu mwana ume mbalo anakontroliwa na sexual desire zati ya menda kuzalisha na hichi. Hakuna. Na unambea support. Kuna vitu zingine zinakuanga fans. Mutu muwenda na ye night shift. Iyo unapigwa miti karai. Mutu umpea food. Iyo mbando unatumiwa. That is the bitter truth. Mtu umpatirishia watoto food. Na ni responsibility yaki. By the way, this is Africa. Men were born to provide. Na lakini na wadis ime change. Wanawaka wana provide pia. Which is very better. But, unawana wanaume wakitambu wata wangamaneji kuwa wanawake sita. Kwa sababu, wanawaka walikuwa wanakaa kwa nyumba, waletewe food. Lakini na wadaisu wana waka wana tafuta pesa. So, as long as you have money, ni merudia hiyo, unaiza set conditions. My dear friend, if you have money, mtu wa siku control 90%. Ati ya naiza enda yuje, azalishane, na ajenge. Kwa za nijiona mungini hata anamia mbo bibi yake chukua loan. Unipeni kuna ka project. You get. Harafu unakuli kustukia huyu mtu wata anja kusaidia kulipa hizi pesa. Kidogo kidogo unasikia akona nyumba ingine na amejenga ayuko kwa rento. Hizo ni trend ziko na ni ukweli 100% zina happen. Ziko hapa nipoteze mtu watoke kwa ke ni advice ya free. Nowadays law ime change. Kama ni kugawana vitu mumeachana, wewe unachukua ya nye umetengeneza. Lakini sasa ya mbui manje ni ulichukua yu, ukapea mtu pesa hakanunua gali gali na zoma njina yake. Nani ya melusi? Sinuwe umelusi. You see? Mutu wa sikombia istamigu ya nakupoteza. Mini risema na ungea ukweli. As in, umetua pesa yako. Mimbi yata niluni. Umechukua luni, umenunua gari, lakini jina inasoma. Your husband ama your boyfriend. My question is, ikifika please munapati wiz. Nani ya nalusi? 
you are the one who is going to lose so vitu zingine ni logic si ati mtu anakupoteza usichukue loan upe mtu pesa na akona bibi mama mwenye wamejuana na yeye mkiwa na yeye nimerudia hiyo kwa sababu hizi vitu zime happen unaona wanawake wengine wanafika place wako so sasa ndio mtu amerudi kwa kupea mamake stress na babake stress na ni kuwa too stupid unajua most of them 99% we are stupid and we accept it but since kuna social media imekam ku create awareness vitu zinaenda zikichange size kama kitambo wanaume wa kitambo ni wao walikuwa wan, wanasema kwa sababu wanawake walikuwa nakaa kwa nyumba hawatafuti pesa kazi yao ilikuwa kuzaa sasa hii wanawake wako na pesa they have money lakini my dear friend women let me advise you as long as bwana kwa kuna familia nyingine nje usimpe hata 1% unless you just sacrifice juu ya watoto wako lakini si mwanaume unapea pesa aende akajengee mpango wa kando wake hapana hata usindisivi hata motivational speaker mgani mimi unajua ile miaka niko nayo saa hii hata motivational speaker amekaa kwa mali ndi sisi stay hii aziwezi ni motivate Watu wengine wana kumotivating na ufala. Nasikia mtu akikwambia mwanamke ni yeye ujenga boma. Nani alisema hivyo? Imeandikwa wapi? Boma ni ya watu wawili. Na mtu mmoja kama ako absent, wewe usijifanye ni wewe uko present. Hapana, utaumia. Think about your kids. Hmm? Once kwanza wao wanaume wako na mambimbi mamas. Nimesema wanaume wasikuizi si kama wakitambo. Na mkae mpinjua wanaume wa kuwekana. Wa mwisho alikuwa amezaliwa 1949 kutoka 1950 wote ni wakuwekwa. That is the bitter truth. Kutoka 1950 wanaume wanataka kuwekwa. Kuanzia na huko kwenda chini ndio walikuwa wanawekana. Sasa hii hakuna. Unastukia wengi wana depend na mabibi zao na ma girlfriend. Wengi wanataka hawataki kuchoka. People are being lazy. People are very lazy. Unaona mwanaume hataki kufanya kazi. Wanataka tu wawekwe. Na kuna wenye hata hawana kata si. Kuna mwingine aliniambia ngai Nilinunua nyama nikapikia boyfriend yangu venye nilimwambia naenda shule nilimpata kwa neimba yangu imagine na hizo vitu hata zingine hata ni mzazi umeomba pesa mwingine niliona amekopa mamake pesa akamwambia mam nikopeshe pesa ngiri 200 ni support mwanangu anunue gari guess what alipatana nayo kwa barabara imepakiwa kwenda kuangalia imebemba staffs nyuma na si mbonake yako nayo iko na mpango listen wanaume hawana memory unajua wanawake wako na kata si wanaume hawana kwanza listen kitu moja unajua mwanaume venye aliumbwa aliumbwa anajua anastahili apewe respect which is very normal na ni normal ni sawa this is africa lazima tu respect lakini sasa inafika place umeweka mwanaume unamsupport financially so anafika place anaona it like unaumbemba ufala na uwezi uwezi awezi kuambia kitu so inafika place anaona he bibi yangu ni kama ananikalia njua na ni support financially so lazima atafute familia ingine ata mwenye ataenda kunyenyekea juu obvious kama central kenya as long as mwanamke ana provide hata si central kenya it's all over mwanamke aki provide awezi kuwa submissive and if you are looking for a submissive wife you have to make money mwanamke hawezi nyenyekea akiwa na pesa ni yana kusupport hata nyenyekea wapi ulisikia wapi so inafika please wewe unapeana pesa una support mtu anaona hapana lazima ni kwenda kafamilia kengine kako nje kwenye naenda wanatoa wananitoa viatu as in wananyenyekea so inafika please unaona we mwanamke umefika menopause umekuwa useless na failure kwa sababu ulipe ulitoa uli roho yako yote energy yako yote ku support marriage work. Mimi sijasema mtu atoke kwake lakini ikifika place unaona unatumiwa leave ama move on kwa sababu unachukua loan wanawake wamesafa. Si wachache ni wengi. Unasikia mtu akikwambia ngai huyu hata aliuza gari na ilikuwa yangu lakini jina ilikuwa inasoma nani? But ni mimi nilibai hiyo gari. So people have been suffering. Lakini ushawahi patana na mtu mwingine anakupea mashinda ya kwake mpaka unashindwa huyu ako nomo na bando she is still there sijui ni nini hao wanawake wanaona wana, wana anga tu acha ni sacrifice okay it's very normal for a woman to sacrifice juu ya watoto na ninaona anga ikiwa sana kwa sababu as long as you have kids ni responsibility yako lakini isifike place 
Ujisacrifice juu ya watoto wako. Ujisacrifice juu ya watoto wako lakini sasa tunajisacrifice juu ya wanaume. Wanaume utawaambia hata gari na wakutusi. Kwanza wakwambia ukuangi noma unakuanga stupid. Kuna mwingine aliniambia mwanake alimwambia unjawahi njua unakuanga mjinga. He? Na amemnunulia mpaka gari. Si mnaona kuna wenye hata wanasema hawataki waandikwe kwa yoro nje. Juu zile circumstances mambo na zao wamekufa wana feel ashamed. Unakuja kulia rais mtu amepata accident gari yenye amepata accident ni ya bibi yake hata by the way kuna wale wanawake wanjanja unaona wale watu mnaonanga ni manga hao ndio stupid kuna mtu unaona amenyenyekea lakini huyo mama ni mjanja unasikia hakuna kitu inasoma bwana junior amenunua ameandikwa yeye so juu social media iko kila place eh sasa hii watu wametanuka si kama kitambo hmm? unaona so uangalie investment unafanya anje kwa sababu watu wanakufa na depression hmm? unachukua loan ulipea mtu this is very risky na si vibaya unajua kuna wale wanaume ni wazuri 1% kuna kale kama mtu unaona kana respect bibi yake hata akiwa na bibi mama awezi muonyesha by the way kwanza hii ya bibi mama kuwa hando imekuwa wanaume ni kama wako na shida ya hormones kama mabambu zetu walikuwa na mabibi hata saba na ungesikia hiyo mbona watu wame fight walikuwa na respect the first second hivyo wanafuatana lakini na one days unastukia mwanaume mzima ako na shida ya hormones anaimbisha bimbi yake hata mbele za umati mbona watu wako hivyo si unaona wanaume wa siku hizi wamekuwa useless si ati natusi wote kuna wako ka 1% lakini ukifiru uko in certain and unjue you are among them juu vitu zingine mnafanya wanawake wa, wa film mpaka wakiwa insecure mwanamke anafika place mpaka unasikia anaweza hata kuua si ati anaweza wanawaua na ni kwa sababu alimefika place mpaka yule mbembe mama anaingilia eh na huma mbembe mama mpaka wana set conditions ati akiona bimbi yako na wig expensive ama na nywele expensive anaanza kukusetia conditions siku yao inakuja nitawatengenezea content lakini wanaume wanawandes hawajui ku handle mambembe mamas na nimesema kuna tofauti ya mbembe mamas mwenye ulikuwa na yeye before you get married na kuna mwenye umepata after you get married so kama umepata bimbi mama after you are already married usi expect bimbi yako akusupport kuwa na katasi hata wewe mwambie relax nime mess up by the way kuna mwana kuna a certain lady aliniandikia kwa email akaniambia acha nikwambie esta ako ka 1% unasema iko mimi mwanangu aliniambia mimi nimezaa mtoto nje na kuanzia saa hii pesa zako ni zako na watoto mimi usiwahi ni support kwa sababu nime mess up you see yani ni mwanamume ana anaona obvious ame mess up ataki kutesa bibi yake lakini kuna wale manga anajua ako na responsibility zingine nje lakini anataka akufinyilie unaona na musi musi musiulize masaidi chiki mambo na zenu ndio useless si masaidi chiki kwa sababu unasikia hata huyu saidi chiki yako na mwanako alikuwa kwa marriage nyingine unaona lakini wanaume ndio useless na wamekuwa failure kwa sababu venye umeonyesha mtu ndivyo anafanyanga Ukionyesha mtu adharau bibi yako ndivyo atafanya. Isifike please. Ati wanawake wanatusiana. Unafanya bibi yako feel insecure mbele za watu. That is being stupid as a man. Eh? This is too much. Si wewe wa kwanza kupata bibi mama. By the way grandfather wetu walikuwa na mabibi wengi. Eh? Mimi grandfather yangu alikuwa na mabibi waine. Na sijawahi sikia kwa hiyo mboma kukiwa hata na fight. Sinjawahi sikia wanawake hata wametusiana. Ni saa hii tu na ninyege kiasi. Unajua wanawake wanaume wakitambo hata walikuwa walikuwa very active in Ben. Si kama nowadays. Venye watu wanashinda wakinjichocha chocha nowadays. Wanaume wakikonga dhate inabindi wacheza na memory. Ile njoto wanawake wako nayo hawawezani nayo. Mnacheza na memory. That is the bitter truth. Hakuna mtu atawaambia Once wanaume wamerithi that limbido inaenda chini unless wacheze na diet kama wako wako chini cheza na diet umpikie chakula ziko na maana that is the bitter truth so ile prind wanaume wa kitambo walikuwa nayo wasahi hawezi pata kwa sababu bethri room bethri room even sometimes ina shut down unless ucheze na diet that is the bitter truth na sitawahi kosa kusema standard zenye watu wana set waache ku set kama unajua umemess up uko na mtoto nje na umezaa bibi yako mkiwa na yeye usimpe responsibility zingine hiyo ni kukosa katasi. Alafu kuna wale wanaume wako na roho chafu hawataki kuona mabimbi zao wakiinvest that is being stupid. Bibi yako akisave pesa ama akiinvest please usifiru vibaya. Hizi vitu ni za watoto wako na watoto ni wako bado. 
kwa sababu wanawake 90% wanakuanga dedicated to the yakins that is the bitter truth so wanaume wa siku hizi hormones zimewapea depression zinawasumbua muende seminar ya wamama i want them to create that awareness wanawake mtanuka msibebe ujinga na ukisikia mtu anakwambia esther migwe anakupoteza unjue anaona we ni sauti wire au konomo you cannot make your own decision that is it bye and see you on my next video more topics